Hello, Kleisir, Environmental Station Alpha. Oh, I am apparently at I, according to the <laughs> location indicator on the file select screen. But uh, yes, we are very much at I. Um, so in the last part, we finally solved the mystery of um, this room. Turns out you just need to put those three items on and nothing else. I mean, it's the most obvious thing ever. So yeah, we didn't find a translation for that symbol anywhere else in the world. Anyway, then this room kind of hinted at, or at least I interpreted it as hinting at, um, yet more shenanigans involving turning items off. And uh, that led to this room, ignoring the creepy pasta room, um, by which I mean the infinite corridor where you get trapped and there's just an enemy to kill you. And then we read this, and it says, the seventh sign is at the bottom of the world. Uh, last time I also tried some irrelevant stuff, but we'll ignore that. Um, so anyway, I was gonna look for the seventh sign, but it occurred to me in the few days since the past, the previous episode, that if it's the seventh one, there are at least six others. And um, so the most obvious thing to try next is just turn on one other item. Yeah. So, probably, since that was the seventh item, it told us the seventh sign. And the first item probably tells us the first sign, and so forth. Possibly up to the fourteenth sign. Um, so I'm assuming I'm gonna need to do even more hand translation. Because I bet the reason that it wasn't in the document is this room is probably specially coded such that they had to put the messages in the code, rather than in the standard resource file. Um... So yeah, the... No. That's not first, because this is sign. Anyway, I'm gonna be translating for a while, because I'm gonna have to do this by hand. I'll meet you when I've got the answer. Alright, it says, The second sign stands in front of a creature long forgotten. So, uh, that's your translation. Let's try to get more, more signs. Because I possibly have to do these in order. So that might be why I couldn't figure out the seventh sign. Yeah. I bet- wait. Is this actually- no, this isn't actually a clock face. There are 14 spots, not 12, right? Let me count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, and there are 14 upgrades. So it probably is just going to be each individual upgrade. That's good, because between episodes, I was thinking about how many combinations of upgrades there were if you did need to combine them to hit certain values. And like, okay, so the first 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 gives you 256 combos. Then it doubles each time because it could be both on and off. So it'd be at 512, 1024, 2048, um, 4096, 8088, uh, 16,176, I think. So, uh, yeah. I'm glad that it's the simplest solution possible. Um, but anyway, uh, I should translate more stuff. Presumably. Alright, let's go. Alright, it says... The third sign is on metal, at the first steps, on the road one can never complete. Cryptic. Let's, uh... Can I just change equipment here and have it work? No, that's the same message. What upgrade do I have now? <laughs> Teleport access! Of course! All those times you've wanted to turn teleport access off. I wonder if this will be the fourth sign. Maybe the far right is the first sign? And then, wait, except slot 7 was the seventh. They're probably just out of order. Uh, this is a shorter one. Anyway, I'll meet you when I'm done translating. That's a G? Yeah. Okay, it says, The twelfth sign is where the- er, not the- Is where eagles dare. Uh, the only eagle I remember was one of the- it was the alien that wanted to start teaching me about alien writing. Or alien language. Anyway. 
I've got more stuff to do. Alright, I think I'm getting good at this. It says the fourth sign is on a ledge over water under a glass dome. Alright, the fifth sign is hidden away above a vertical power. Huh. At this point, I'm wondering if these are related to those black rooms on the map. Because remember we found that black room that I thought was full of easter eggs? Or wait, actually it hints at the red square, doesn't it? Above a vertical power, where we got vertical dash. There, there was that mysterious red square. And then to the left was the room that was just a black room that was full of easter eggs. As far as I could tell. Or references or whatever. Anyway, let's keep translating. I still haven't found the first sign. The sixth sign is in a mass of sand on a plant under siege. Plant under siege? I don't know where that's talking about. The final sign is at ancient ruins covered by grass. The ninth sign is nearby on a pointed pillar next to almost certain death. Interesting. But where's the first sign? The first sign is at the center of a submerged arena. Let's see, I believe there were two distinct boss fights underwater. So we'll have to investigate those most likely. Uh, Alright. But while we're here, we might as well do the other four translations. Triple shot. The tenth sign is at the circular window to the vastness of space. Whoa! Uh... So the hands are different colored than when they lead to the... the creepypasta room. But they don't match up, and they're a different color. I guess that's what was meant by the final three upgrades... having... dots under them at the, um... Oh, I need, um, a supercharge module, too. Or not supercharge module, Dash Booster X. Yeah, there were dots under these. Um, just in case it's important to actually visit all the rooms, I'm gonna save. Even though literally all I've done is translate stuff, and you wouldn't think I would lose progress if I died. But yeah, let's... Wait, plasma field's what I need on. I wonder if it's gonna be some sort of challenge. I guess I can probably turn on other stuff once I'm in here. Oops. What's this say? Um, let's see. Only the... Knowledge... No, that's not knowledgeable, is it? Something N-O-W-L-E-D-G... No, it is knowledgeable. I thought it was too long. Ones may proceed. Okay, sure. Uh, actually, I think this actually is in the dialogue document. I don't have to hand translate it. Okay, head to the stand and enter the code. I found it. Except I've done that, right? Is 
The code was MWYA. Oh, you're looking a bit different, sir. Uh, what? There, there was clearly, clearly a wall there. Uh, here's a save point. Do I really want to save in here? I guess. Just try to go ways we haven't been yet. been recording? 33 minutes, okay. This reminds me of that skull that chased me around the other room, but slightly less skull-like. save point. Where did I go from the save point? Was it up or was it sideways? Or did I try both? In a maze. I don't know what to do. I guaranteed though I'm gonna find the emeralds. Oh, this room again. Oh, and I actually am forced to return back. This is new. No, we've been here. I think I went right before. Uh, but I'm here again. I'm not picking up on any, like, clues that would now allow me to know I'm going the right way. I feel like I want the face to look more and more destroyed, though. Uh, interesting. And we're back here at the third face. Oh, that's looking even more creepy. And we're back to the save point. Okay, so left, left, straight, right. That's how you get through Gino's woods. Remember that. didn't lead me anywhere good. Okay, we're back here. Let's try to the right this time. No, that went back a step. Oh boy. Okay, well now we're here again. I went down and left, so let's go down and right. Nope. Oh, we're back at the start. Maybe that's where we wanted to be, though. Okay, one eye. <sighs> Seems like it would be simpler to D L L U. <laughs> Typing it in didn't do anything. I mean, that was an alien script. That that was actually D L L U. Oh, hey. Oh, it's solid. Weren't the others in the background? 
ESA. I can talk. I miss my friends. What? That wasn't helpful. You miss your friends. Oh, what's this? That symbol. That didn't help me at all. Lost in pipe maze. The worst of fates. The true creepy pasta. One day there was a wrong hack level with pipes. The end. So yeah, don't hire me to write anything creepy. Wait, did this lead somewhere good? No. I keep expecting that symbol to lead to like something different than what I've been going through. Okay, I think this will get me out. Alright, so, are the final three upgrades... Okay, this just leads to one of the translate rooms. Because, yeah, I guess I didn't have all the signs. Okay, the thirteenth sign is on an overhang above advice to be patient. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, ninth, tenth... I'm missing the eleventh and eighth signs so far. The eleventh sign is on the spot of what was stolen. I assume that refers to near the supercharge module. Alright, so I'm only missing the 8th sign. I suspect it is related to... Um... Whichever face, or whichever direction on the clock I didn't actually hit. Um... So yeah, this, this didn't do it for me. I suspect I'm gonna have to figure out how combos work just to get the eighth sign, unless it's in that maze. Which it could be. There was a computer in that maze that I didn't actually read. has this been? 45 minutes. I mean, I could go back into the maze. I kind of want to resave. Well, we definitely haven't exactly hit one of the clock faces. This room hasn't changed at all, has it? No. I'd almost rather go look for these signs, but it bothers me that I'm missing one. Alright. So, I'm curious which clock face we haven't hit. So we've hit before the bottom. Yeah. No combination of symbol- Oh, interesting. Yeah, no combination of symbols makes both hands be directly up. And apparently if you have all your stuff turned off, the clock hands just move. I was seeing if every time I open and close the menu, the clock hands reset their position. But I don't think that's the case. 
I think they might just continue moving while the menu is open, though. Uh, anyway, I wonder if there is a way to get both hands to point directly up. That might require learning the logic of how they move when you have combos. Also, interestingly, this, the two hands, are at an average, basically, if you weight each hand the same, of being straight up. I don't know, I think I'm gonna explore that maze some more. Because we, we caught a glimpse of a computer, and I didn't actually get to interact with it. Oh! This is the DLLU room. Right away. Oh, secret! Follow the big bubble. Okay, you've got even more eyes and are looking even more destroyed. Can I fight this? What? <laughs> what was the point? I'm back somewhere, boing. I get to where I was? Because that was new, and we like new. Well, let's, what was in here? Oh, is that something? Oh, the computer! What's it say? Uh, W something I... T E the three write the three initials of the name at the told spot. That's what it says. The only name I remember was near the disc reader. I don't remember if there was a middle initial included. And I also don't know what it means by the told spot. Anyway, now I need to get out of here. I guess I could die. But just in case reading that message triggered something, I feel like I should save. And now I'm committed to actually finding the way out. Let's see, it's not just the left here, is it? That would be too easy. No, it loops back to exactly the same room. No. Okay. And then... huh. Those are actually two way connected. I feel like I get stuck in the three eye room a lot. I need to actually remember the way out sometime. Marked with bubbles. 
or a bubble or something. Oh, I still don't know the eighth sign. How long have I been recording? 59 minutes, but I'm pretty sure this will edit down pretty easily. At least on the translations. Um, do I play around with upgrades more? I guess, what are this and this? Maybe I can like add them into the plasma field. That's that. Okay, so that one points to there. It's the dash booster V. And the heat resistant suit points there, but both of them together point there, of course. In the plasma field, nothing good happens. What if I put all the dash boosters together? That would be thematically appropriate. Okay, no dice. Teleport access and rough map. Oh, wow! Even getting the hands together doesn't do anything. Unless it's actually one of the officially sanctioned combos. And by which I mean single items. There aren't combos. Unless something specifically works with, like, plasma field or something. Yeah, th there's no way to point it up, as far as I can tell, is what I'm getting at. What if I invert this selection? Well, it points over there. Oh, huh. Not all the inverted selections point to a single place. Oh, that one points straight up. But yeah, it doesn't feel like it'll be worth trying to figure out any logic for where the hands point when you've got a combo, when even when they line up, it doesn't act like it. Uh, let's resume my game. I feel like I want to keep playing, but do I really want to do a two-part episode in the middle of the week? Not really, that feels like it should be a Saturday thing. I don't know why I turned triple shot back on. Also, I'm wondering if the reason that the block is missing is maybe I've already found one sign. The seventh sign. Even though I took that as a hint that that's how I needed to do the signs. Anyway. Yeah, I really should end this off. Maybe it'll be two parts. I think I'll see what time I end up with after editing. If I cut like 40 minutes out of this, I might record a bit more. Uh, you'll know before you're getting to this explanation though, so I'm not going to worry about explaining too much more. See ya!